that big thing hugging my hip like a koala tea. Anyway, that's a remix of a little other main lyric. Uh, your boy, Bish, we have him back with another video. And um, if you want to see my production value here, I have this nice uh, blinding lamp here. I have this uh, wonderful ceiling light that sounds like the coming of death, um, shaking and rattling and such. So we're going to review these uh, quality pants, as you can tell by the title. Uh, pretty cool little, I guess, baggage here. Uh, compostable, uh, so you can post your calm if you're able. Um, reusable, which they decided to, uh, I can't dox myself, my address on the side of this bag, so I can't do it. But what they did is they just taped the bag closed. I guess the bag had already been opened at some point. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Koality is a clothing brand that, uh, to my knowledge, specializes in out, outside external gear, like uh, pants, um, vests, hoodies, adjacent. And um, I've gotten some sweat shorts from them. Uh, by the way, they're from Canada. They're a Canadian brand, so they're already pretty good. I mean, almost all clothing brands from Canada, pretty good. Vroot, um, Montclair, there you go, top three. Um, their sweatshirts are pretty comfortable. I owned a black pair of sweatshirts I can use in a club, uh, I can use walking around, uh, they keep my gonads, uh, Gucci, good cross breeze. Also, have some more like, um, I don't know what to call them, but they are also not normal shorts, they're kind of like, um. I'm fucking stupid. Let's just get into the fucking pants. So we have actual sweatpants. We have uh, one are like traditional sweatpants. They're original sweatpants, as it's called. And one are like cargos. But I've never... I don't think I've ever owned cargo sweatpants. So let me open these first. You get to see them happen for a while. You get to hear me speak, which is enough. So you get to hear me speak. And we have the cargos back with the light let me move my pjs out the way um very homely review here so this is the koala logo it's supposed to be a koala as you could probably imagine um this is their taggage color green cargo sweatpants 100 percent recycled materials most american pigs i don't give a shit about that but they do some pretentious nonsense um i'm sorry uh pretty solid tag here i thought like it was gonna rip off at some point but this would be a fairly sturdy tag and i actually respect the people who like make it easy like if you want to keep the tag and keep the tag on but this shit right here you can just easily clip it off there's a lot of brands that don't make it this easy to clip off the tag it's safe um it's easy it doesn't do too much damage to the general tag I and mean, you got the little penetration there perforation there or perforation perforation but all in all it won't look too bad as i'm doing that and um even make the size like pretty aesthetic i've never used that word again in my life um so we have the drawstring there overall uh, I, I went for olive and it looks very olive i mean the color reproduction look fucking terrible in this video but let's see what i can I gotta get this fucking phone upgraded, dude. This shit is terrible. I, I can't believe it can fucking easily focus on shit like this. Anyway, um, kind of like the end leg here. I don't know what to call any of this shit. I'm not a fucking knowledgeable person by anything. Uh, but this, I'm a little bit soft in your, your inner thigh. When your girl, let's say you're like me, buck 30, thighs about big as this. Your girl, about twice the size. Uh, Liz Cambridge built chick. Fucking thighs, like, fucking... I put the motherfuckers in the damn choco to uh, even grab them. So you come through. She put your hand on your, your inner thigh here. Good material. You know, I get down a little bit different than a lot of dudes. I, that's all I'm saying. I get down a little bit different than a lot of dudes. Anyway, uh, pockets here. You can do it with one hand there if you want to, like a spare like me. Um, pretty good size there. I got fairly decent size hands. And unless I go full... You know, nuts the butt there. Can barely even touch the bottom. Um, let's see the cuff. No cuffage. I probably should have checked that before I bought these. Um, no cuffage. I kind of am pissed I didn't check that before. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I didn't even think about the cuffs. 
<laughs> I didn't think about <laughs> I didn't think about those at all. Yes, that's an L by me. Anyway, we're going no cuff this. <laughs> Goddamn. Um, other pockets, a little bit of metallic logo here. Doesn't feel too cheap. These were very, like these were, like literally on sale. These were, like in the season sweatpants. I'm not like critiquing these really. I'm just kind of having a little bit of fun with the video. Um, I kind of like the pocket. I, I use like pocket pockets. They're horrible for retaining anything that's inside your pockets, but they feel good to put your hand in. These. Shit will slip out very easily in these pockets. I can tell you that right now. But that's okay, because you have 87 fucking pockets on these things. Um, by 87, I mean like three. Uh, you have a back pocket here that, um, you know, again, can be done with one hand. Pretty easy to uh, take that shit out. Um, pretty, you know, same colored uh, kind of waistband here. No, that's not what, I know this is not a waistband, but the waist area, but the same color as the actual pant. It's just cool. Some people don't do it like that. Some people make like a lighter color or a darker color or something different. I prefer to be uniform. A little, I don't know what this is. I guess, I, I, I own so many pants that have this. I don't know what it's fucking called. But I guess it's you stitch shorts to the rest of the pant leg. You have the optionality to make it like a short easily. I don't fucking know. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I fucked up not getting one that had actually tapered cuffs. All right, let's look at the actual original sweatpant. I also will not be fucking tapered, so I'm going to gonna kill myself probably. Um, there we go. So we have the silver, silver, the organic standard model. I think it's just the organic pant, I believe. Um. Tapered more, more tapered. I'm just gonna do a drum roll here in effect. A little bit more tapered, not as bad. Um, not as very loosey goosey, Mella Anderson um, in the 90s. Tommy Lee Jones. Um, so we have the organic, I think I said original. I meant the organic sweatpants. It's just ORG, ORG, which I don't have a lot of um orgasms i have a lot of those but i do have some organic sweatpants so boom fuck you um quality quality wait hold the fuck up quality qual i just got that shit bro holy fuck they did a double entendre because it's koala and then they have teas Koala T and these fucking cocksuckers from Canada with a fucking double entendre. Cool. <laughs> fucking Canada, dude. Other than fucking Drake talking to Millie Bobby Brown, you gotta love Canada. Um, anyway, so Drake, please don't kill me, dude. I, I didn't mean that, dude. That was a joke. Please don't kill me, Drake. Um, Koala T established 2012. 2012? Call me 2012. As you can tell, I'm like Andy Sandberg shit with this video. Um, designed in Canada, 1% for the planet. Remember? I think they might have made that shit up. Um, organic cotton. Organic. Organic. Between 15 and 17% of motherfuckers don't care if I read that out loud, so I'm not going to read the rest of it. Uh, organic standards. This is probably going to come up. After multiple times in the wash, I could probably pick it off right now if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that, but it's not going to be there after 10 washes. I can tell you that right now. Uh, a little bit of a different pocket here. This is closer to like a jogger. Like it's not as closer to one. Um, so it's a little bit more of a pocket, a little bit more. Um, it's weird because it doesn't have like the, you know, the kind of the, the brace here. It's very, it's like, it's like white people lips pocket. It's very interesting here. Kind of crazy that they went with there. A little bit of a, a stitching mishap, but again, these are cheap as hell. You know, um, I don't mean cheap as hell in the quiet. I mean, like, at, in the season, like, cheap as hell. Uh, very deep pocket. Actually, it's not very deep at all. It's a very shallow pocket. Um, <laughs> a good drawstring there, though. And a kind of a kangaroo baby pocket. A dingaroo. What do you call it? A, what do you call it? Is it a dinghy? I forgot what you call a, a baby koala. Or a baby fucking kangaroo. I think it's a dingo. Some shit like that. It's a man dingo. That's what it is. Anyway, uh, man dingo pocket back here. And uh, not really too much else to it. You know. 
very simple, very relaxed uh, sweatpant. I think you would call this uh, silver, as they call it. I don't know if I'd call it silver, but then again, I'm a silver, I know it's a hedgehog. Anyway, that's about it. This is our 10 minutes. I got about 27 jokes off already, so I'm in a kind of a good ratio there. I'm going to end this jaw on here. If you want me to review more shit, uh, feel free to donate money so I can buy more shit to, to do that. Uh, also, I do other shit. I do podcasts. Uh, I do normal ass shit. That's not podcasts. I do streams. I do a lot of shit. Stick around, subscribe, and uh, yeah, get fucked.